that all you can do for Jesus? Is that all you can do for him? Is that all you can do for him? I mean, that is all you can do. name 
of Jesus. Glory to God. Lift up your Bible if you have one. I pray that we'll be going very soon. Because it's when you are ready, heaven will be ready. If you are not ready, there is nothing any man can do. It's only when men are ready that God will rise to do something. There are people that are in bondage, actually they love, the, they love where they are and they don't want to make no move to move forward. I pray that as many that really need to move forward, I pray that heaven will help you today. Amen. Say, this is my Bible. This is my Bible. It's the word of God. It's the word of God. I am what my Bible says I am. I am what my Bible says I am. I will do what my Bible says I will do. No shaking. No shaking. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. neighbor. Do, you do you believe it? Because I do. Because I do. Amen. Amen. Look at somebody that have no Bible and see you again today. Oh my God. You may be seated. God bless you. <clears throat> God bless you too, Prophet. Amen. Amen. Before we share the word of God today, I would like you to break out your phone, go to Facebook, like our page, share the message, and off your phone. Amen. 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 I permit you now, break out your phone. As many that have Facebook on their phone, and those that don't have it, go to YouTube. Pick it up from you to Prophet Itode Iloye or Commander CSR. <coughs> I think he's there. Pull it and share. <coughs> the more you share, the more heaven will continue to help you. So pick up your phone, do that quickly. If it's on Facebook, it's uh, uh, Prophetic Embassy Caribbean. Amen. It's a page. So you can do that is just for your page. We have the Indian page, Nigerian page, and but that one is just mainly for Caribbean. So pick it up, share, and then you can have off your phone. Amen. Amen. It's very important. Very important. Uh, today is a wonderful day, and it's a day that the Lord has made, and this is one of the days that heaven will help somebody. Amen. Amen. And as I'm talking to you, maybe you don't understand my English. It's not my fault. I cannot speak like American because I'm not an American person. And I can't speak like Trinidad because I'm not from Trinidad. Amen. Amen. Everybody have accent. Even if you go to America, you have accent. Am I right? Yes. So try to understand me because if you come to my country, I will understand you. Amen. 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 But in case if you don't understand, you just look for an interpreter close to you. Somebody that has been watching African movie. <laughs> Amen. Any person that you know that have been watching African movie, that person can be telling you what you don't understand. Amen. Amen. That person will help you out so that you can follow us because today is one of the wonderful days that the Lord has made. Amen. I don't know who you are, but I want to let you know that men and women, it doesn't matter your standard, it doesn't matter your category, it doesn't matter where you belong. You can be manipulated in an altar. There are people in the Bible, great people in the Bible, that altars mess them up. Altars from their father's house. What you refuse to deal with, I promise you, that thing will deal with you. Amen. Any power that you refuse to, any demon you receive, you refuse to bind, that demon will be happy to bind you. Others can cause you have make have misunderstanding in your relationship, in your marriage, in whatever thing you are doing. And you think it's normal, it's not normal. Something is responsible. I don't know where you are today, but I want to talk to those that know their God. For the Bible says they that know their God shall be strong and they will do exploit. So today it's not a matter of <clears throat> is they that know their God. It has to be personal. It has to be personal for God to do something. But by the special grace of God, we have been on this ministration for a long time now. 
I'm, when I'm directing you to do something prophetically, I think I know what I'm saying. Amen. Obey the Lord your God and it shall be well. Obey your prophet and you will prosper. Amen. There are people that God has given the key to a prosperous life. Prosperity is not money. Prosperity is not wealth. I've seen people that have wealth, they have no peace. Am I talking to somebody here? No. Prosperity is not that. I've seen people that have children and their children is even beating them in the house. There is something God wants to do for somebody. Quickly, I'll just show you one or two places in the Bible. Like, since I started, I've been preaching from this book. And we don't have it much again. We have it only 20 copies. And that 20 copies, the Lord said to me, 20 people that will take it, do what I will tell you to do, and get yourself out of every hook called altars that have been putting you down Amen. for a long time. <clears throat> if I'm to start from Papa Abraham, if you go to the book of Genesis chapter 13, and we may read from 1 to 18. It's a long place to read. Meanwhile, we don't have much of those time. Father, we thank you today because you're a great God. I pray that you minister to us individually. Amen. Open our eyes, open our mind, show us yourself, and show us your power. Deliver those that need deliverance. Fight battles that you need to fight today. To you be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Let it just shout, Amen. Amen. What did he say? What? And, and Abraham went out, and Abraham went up out of Egypt. Uh-huh. He and his wife. He and his wife. And all that he had. Mm -hmm. And looked with him into the south. And Abraham was very rich in cattle. In 